All right. So after you've got your transit, clock's been ticking away, you've controlled your boat in the start box, you're in the front row, gun goes, it's the last two points. One is you need to get really good acceleration. And the last one is you need to make sure that you are in clear air. A lot of people think that a priority coming out of the start line is I've just got to be able to tack. For me, if I've got to be able to tack, I need to know that I was starting the boat in anyway, and I've already made that decision. The ability to tack is not a huge priority to me, to me at the start line. What is a huge priority to me is getting good acceleration and clear air. The sooner I get clear air, well, I want clear air as soon as I go. Um, if you've got clear air, you're sailing well. Now, how do you get clear air? So, and good acceleration, some people like a hole underneath them, some people like a hole above them, that's a whole other story and that's something you've got to work out yourself. And once you've decided which way you want to go, go and talk to the top guys at your club and just find out how they achieve it. But the important things to remember are you need acceleration and clear air. To keep clear air, I'll give you a big hint. If I'm on the boat here in the middle, I always find it funny that I speak to a lot of sailors and the boat they worry about is this boat here, the boat above me. I'm really not worried about that boat above me so much. The boat I'm really worried about is this one underneath me. Mm -hmm. Here I am on the red boat. If I take off, the boat above me has got a sail a fair way from behind to there before he starts gassing me. So as long as I accelerate nicely, there's not a great chance that the boat above me is going to gas me unless I'm really doing something wrong. The boat below me, however, only has to get to there. That's not a big step. And now I'm getting lead bow by because I'm not pointing as high, I'm not going as fast, at which point I'm starting to drift back. So it's important that you worry about the boat below you and that if they're going to accelerate, you need to accelerate. And hope that they're not early, but you want to accelerate. If you start drifting back in that position, the next thing you're going to find is that this boat is definitely going to sail over the top of you and that's going to compound the pressure on you because now you cop one person's gas and now you're sitting in someone's big dirty windshield. So it's important that your acceleration is good and that you pay attention to the boat that is beneath you. And I've always found it strange that people worry about the boat above. I've never really super worried about the boat above so much. I let them do their own thing. So, acceleration, clear air. Here come a couple more. As soon as the gun goes, you really need to go hard. You really need to go hard. That first five minutes of the race could determine your position at the top mark. As many of you know, if you can hit the top mark in the top 10, life is a lot easier than it is if you hit it in 20th or 30th or 40th or something worse than that. In that top 10, there's just more lanes of clear air. It's easier. So, as soon as the gun goes, go hard. Hike your butt off if it's hiking. If it's not hiking conditions, make sure you've got plenty of speed. And the last one is, and this one is so important, first shift. It's the person that gets to the first shift first that is usually the first place to the top mark. So if you can, do your homework before the start of the race. Decide which side of the course you want to go, where the first shift's going to be, and work that first shift. So there are my hints for the start. I've tried to keep that very simple, and I hope, um, I hope people can understand what we've done there.